Hey guys. Hi. Y'all seeing the code, the C1, I call it the C19 version of what we're doing. This is my first grocery haul. I, I do all the grocery hauls, but this is my first you do all the feminine. Grocery shopping. Okay, okay. Well, see, there you go. So, my wife said to do the roll call. I'm working on the roll call rap, and I wanted to do a little something special, but she, no, nah, you can't know that. Nah, what did you say? I gave you a list. I didn't give you a list. When I say what Why I wanted to do. Why the camera crooked? It's crooked. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just thought that's the way she was standing. But I want to send a good morning out to everybody. See, we got some subscribers. You guys are new. I want to say welcome to a life in between. It's about myself, my beautiful wife. Hi. And our gorgeous daughter. We all live together in one dwelling. We have a few children. Matter of fact, I have a child that's older than my wife. But that's a whole nother topic. That'll be our so. next video. <laughs> so, to everybody starting out with Elder C, good morning to your brother. Hey, Miss Sasha. I know she got the boys, Caleb and Josiah. Want to say good morning to you guys. How you doing, Miss Exquisite One? She's up there on the other side of New York, which is in New Jersey, upstate. She let me know that where it actually is. How you doing, Miss Mary, Miss Melba B? How you doing, Lady BC? How you doing, Miss Pam? Miss Pam, I heard you had a situation where you had to bleach your house down so much, you, your neighbor, and the people down the other side of the street couldn't even go to sleep. But anyway, want to say good morning to you. Want to say, how you doing, Mama Margaret, along with Miss Sasha and the Southern crew. No, that's Miss Alicia. Alicia. Miss Sasha, excuse me. But I'm Miss Sasha, I do want to say, I did see, I think it was your video that you posted from the 4th or the 5th. But it was so inspirational to me. And I do want to say, keep going on, sister. Proud of you. You're very, very, very encouraging. And hey, good morning to you we once again. We love the transparency. We truly believe in that and what we're doing to be transparent, to be accountable. And I know that's tough sometimes for us as black men, but hey, we're there. Hey, Philip, speaking of young black men, how you doing? I also want to send him, Miss, uh, I want to get it right. I am, because my wife will mess me up if I don't say it myself and have to get it from her, Miss I am. Also want to send a good morning praise out to our new subscribers, the Johnson family. I believe y'all might be in Arizona. That sounds like, like y'all got cowboy hats and, you know how y'all... It ain't Arizona. It ain't in Arizona. Well, what was the movie when the Johnsons was traveling from? Okay. Well, welcome the Johnson family. We also want to send out one, two. How you say it? Jazzy? Janice. Janice. I'm going to just have. I'm good about giving good yeah. nicknames. So you may have a new nickname, Miss Janice. It may be Miss Jazzy. Miss Mary. Who? Miss Mary. I did say Miss Mary. Miss Mary, I didn't speak to you. Hey, Miss Mary. Hey, Miss Meach. Now, y'all, I have said something in the past about these names. I know some of them are code names and some of them are nickname. So the code names, y'all know, I've been asking for for a while. But I believe I got everybody, so I want a good morning to Let me get to this haul. I'm working this camera. I'm supposed to know how to do this thing. Uh, I don't know how you flip it over. She say stop. All right, guys, this is the haul. I got up this morning. We needed a few things from Walmart. I just went by and bought a couple things. Uh, my wife's son's supposed to go through and tell you what I bought, how big it is, who made it, the expiration date on it. I guess it's all y'all do. But, you know, starting out, definitely got that nature zone. This one of my best bread. And we were speaking the other day about this right here. So I went on out to Walmart and I picked up a couple of cans of salmon. Got some quick snacks right here. I don't know how she's going to edit this video or how it go, but I'm going to do my best right now. A uh, couple of things, Seth Boy. They even got the Walmart version. Just wanted to see how they taste it because they won, but like 80 cents, yeah, 70 cents. So I say, well, let me just get one of these because we already know how those taste. Let me see how we can dock it up. Maybe put a little bit more uh, sauce in it or salt. Picked up some uh, provolone cheese. This mixed with the Gouda. Some of y'all say Gouda, Gouda, however you want to say it. When you make a grilled cheese sandwiches with these two, man, look at here. Look at here. Then you can get explicit with it and add the ham. All right, guys. We did not know this ham was $18. And why was it $18? We have no clue. But it's going back. Because I did buy ham. We buy it in the little thing. My wife made a suggestion. We get it. Like, we used to normally get the deli. But we're going to get this, make sandwiches and 
you know, it's good for that, uh, that breakfast. Of course, my wife got her bananas for her shakes, along with her bag of uh, whole strawberries. <coughs> and I like quick bag rice. This is what they had on the shelf at the time. I've tried success, and I was impressed with success. So it, do, it does the job what you need. And, you know, you got the ones that come in the bag, and it said on here how many bags was in it. Right there, four bags, three boxes, four times three. What is that, Philip? There you go. Also got a bag of pepperoni. We like to use these in our salad. I'm sure y'all probably heard all this before. And it's a good snack on Ritz crackers. You take one of those, put on a Ritz cracker with some cheese. Now, we talked about this the other day. Some of y'all, if you're from the old school, y'all remember if we wasn't this neat. We had the old cotton or the cardboard. Cotton can, like, the, like biscuits and, you know, and we used to take it. And, well, we decided, I said, well, you know, and I looked for it. And we found it, but it's, it's here now. It's a great value one. They do have the one from uh, Minute Maid, but I said, let me, you know, great value does good on some of the items. So we got that and a lemonade, because we really like lemonade. And I know with this, we probably have to add a little sugar, probably put in a couple of lemons. Cheeses, cheeses have been coming up with a whole different bunch of new, different kind of flavors. Some of y'all already probably know that. But I, I like this one, Shop Cheddar and Parmesan. They actually come in just like that. You have this color and that color, but they mix in the thing. Give it a little extra shape to try to see how many you can get. <laughs> but anyway, got your next cheese, the Cheddar Jack. They had another one with uh, Kobe, but they I haven't seen it in a while. We really got some cookies, great value again. And this is a good snack that my wife and my daughter, they, my wife kills these. I might as well just buy her a box by herself. Y'all see how many come in the box? right now that is from Della, Della, Della y'all know where it's from right there Della Nets. it's cheese and chicken taquitos Deli Nets. I call them taquitos but anyway cereal is a staple in the house and um, it's a good go to snack everybody know that I really like these type because of the fact that they come like this individually wrapped in little bags and I know a lot of y'all got them of course I can't wait to Walmart come out with their little version, but they come in little snack bags to me. And these easy that you can take on the road with you outside, clean the yard, and you just need a little quick snack for the kids. Here you go. These are more of the name brand style. These are the ones that come in there. I got two boxes of those. Like I said, you're getting up in the morning and you want something real quick, simple. Hey, pop the bag open, put you it in the box. You ain't got to worry about them going stale. And then a good snack. You sitting up at night and want something kind of sweet. <coughs> I'm not going to hardly say it's healthy all the time. Because I know some people, I'm not a nutritionist, so please don't come out. Well, you know, you said this about those cereal lemons. It's something you can eat good and it'll give you a little feeling. Add some milk, you're good to go. We got some very, very, I like Cheerios. Most of y'all, if y'all my age, you grew up on Cheerios. Cheerios was the thing coming out. It was big. And they have put themselves in a position where they have just went like peanut butter over bread all over the place. Just thin and covered up the, the cereal out. Very, very something I got. Got the family side. Want to see how they taste. Never had them before. Never had them before. But again, a good snack. This is my wife, one of her favorite cereals. Okay. Frosted Flakes. Got it in a family size. You know, we, we'll probably have these for about maybe a month. Month and a half. Five months. I think we'll go through these six because we'll have them. I got and and then Walmart had these. They had two boxes. I like hunting up Cheerios. Yeah, I like hunting up Cheerios. I like hunting up Oreos. I like hunting up Frosted. You got hunting nut is good. Rather it's by just hunting nut. That's what I was bringing out. Hunting nut is good. All right, and I think okay. I'm gonna cut this up a little later. Got some leg quarters right here. And I know for y'all sophisticated folks, y'all may want to turn it off and come back in about 10 seconds. But this is a 10-pound bag. And what I do is I cut the leg over from the thigh, cut the thigh from the back. And if the leg is really, really, you know, break it up. I'm going to be making some uh, chicken adobo. Chicken adobo. And my wife can teach me that. So this is good for that. You know, when you're spreading out a long meal, this is good if you want to do some stuff in, 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 your, in your peas and beans. Some extra pieces of chicken. Elder Curtis. Elder Curtis. Do you eat chicken bags, Elder Curtis? 
For all you that do chicken bags, especially the bags with the little booty on the end, comment, comment. I mean, how you comment do it? She don't know about them chicken bags. I don't Ooh. told her. Y'all put some out there about them chicken bags. And I'm going to go on down and finish it up. This is basically the Easter's little pile. Of course, y'all know our daughter has cerebral palsy. And she uh, has items that she needs to help her with her incontinence. There's two packs of these. I try to get one or two every time they have them. They come in handy to help. These are bed pads that we put on the pad. I guess if I turn it around. Can I turn it around this way? Make, okay, she said turn the thing around. But that, that ain't go right there. We got two of them. And down here we got her vital water, a variety of flavors, you know, that she take. That's uh, one flavor right there, the dragon fruit. She like those. I like to drink some of these right there. This is my one of my favorite right here, that kiwi strawberry. And I know a lot of y'all like that. And then you got right here that tropical citrus. We also got uh, her washing items, her cleaning items, the cool moisturizer body wash. We got that. We got a, a, a double pack of the sensitive skin body wash. Of course, you need things that are salt. Then we got our washing unstoppables that we have from Downey. Whew, I don't see how y'all do these haul like this. Him, dude, this is uh, uh, a little bit much. We got the two of these right here, the Everyday Moisturizer. Yes, I do try to pile up on items for her bath area that she had. They had these in there. They was on... It was, I guess this is something new, and that was less than a dollar. And so I said, well, you know what? I spend a dollar every time I just walk outside because I got it like that. So I decided to get one of those. We got the Equate version from Walmart of the, uh, this would normally be their version for, what is that? Not a vino. What, what is that? Um, olive oil. Olive oil. This is Walmart's version. And, of course, this is a vino's version of a body wash right here. We normally don't use this kind of dish soap, but y'all can see right there we're getting low on it right there, so I just needed to get something in the house, so I just Ajax. bought a Ajax. I know y'all remember Ajax. Everybody remember Ajax. Just bought one to keep in the camera stew just in case. Here's that second bottle I was talking about. with my baby's feminine wash for my, for Easter. For Easter. <laughs> okay, the Equate version. We ain't supposed to show that? I don't know. You say show I'm everything. Just though, it's just Easter, all that's Easter. Stuff. All this is Easter stuff, as a matter of fact, right down here on the floor. Another thing that they had, this would be the ivory version from Walmart side of it, and it was only ninety-eight seven cent. So it is. There y'all go. Oh, hey guys, one more thing, um, Michael. I want to thank everyone for um, that sent messages on instagram um just in the prayers even the people have commented in past videos um regarding his brother his brother um passed away on thursday um so that's why you know we haven't really recorded a whole lot but um michael's gonna tell you guys um in the next has a message for you guys in the next part i'd like to take the time right now to say thank you to everyone that has been keeping me in your prayers in reference to my situation with my brother um, it's kind of tough you know and the family is still coming together so thank you so much thank you so with being aided by the teacher in the background want to say goodbye don't forget to comment about the chicken bags bye guys